How's it going team? Really hope you're doing well. It's a beautiful day outside and when you're done watching this video, why don't you go out and find a confused boomer who's wandering the streets struggling to use their cell phone and just help them out. That way everybody wins. You can still use your technology by helping the boomer. You get some fresh air and you know, you just get to help out a nice elderly man or woman. It's it's good for everybody, as I said. All right, well, now that my PSA is out of the way, in this video, I wanted to talk about the boss fight on Mauer der Toten and what the most effective way to beat her is. There are a few different methods depending on what you want to do, and if you're going for a speed run, it just makes the most sense to get the Cerberus and power through Valentina with Ring of Fire and just spamming her. If you're playing normally, using a death machine can really help your chances as well, but what about the Ray Gun? Where does it sit amongst the Cerberus and the death machine? Is it more powerful? Is it terrible? I honestly had no freaking idea until I started making this video, and I think the results will surprise you. At first, I didn't even know if the ray gun was on the map, but it is, it's in the mystery box, and I finally got one in a game that I was playing the other night. Then I finally made it to the boss fight and started messing with each of the strategies to see what the best method was. So before I get into the numbers, I'm almost certain that when the player pops Ring of Fire, the damage numbers that show up on the enemy AI don't change on the HUD, but they are multiplied in the code of the game. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, I'm not 100%. But for the sake of the video and what you see on screen, we are going to be not including the ring of fire in the math like multiplication for the damage, just using the numbers that I was able to see on screen. All right, so now let's get into the math. So I'm going to break down what I did mathematically first before we get into each weapon, just so you can understand how I arrived at each set of numbers. So what I did is I timed each weapon for five seconds and I counted the number of rounds used in that time period and then multiplied the number of rounds fired in that five second period with the damage output of one round. This lets me arrive at the amount of damage a weapon uses in a five second period. And if you multiply this number or the amount of rounds fired by 12, which 12 is the number of times five goes into 60 seconds, you will arrive at the total damage output per minute of each weapon respectively. Got it? All right, good. And don't worry, I'm gonna put the math on the screen anyway. So let's start with the Cerberus. This weapon fires approximately 24 shots per five seconds, which is 288 shots per minute. It has a damage output on Valentina of 4,050 per round, which leads us to either 97,000 damage per five seconds or 1,166,400 damage per minute. So clearly that's pretty high. And since the fire rate on this weapon is fairly quick, you can see why it's an effective choice, especially combined with Ring of Fire. All right, now let's move on to the Death Machine. The Death Machine fires approximately 132 rounds per five seconds or 1,584 rounds per minute. It outputs 1,500 damage per round, which gives us a damage output of 198,000 damage per five seconds seconds or 2,376,000 damage per minute. So this is essentially double the Cerberus, which makes a ton of sense when you're playing and using the death machine because it just eats Valentina alive. All right, so what about the ray gun? Where does it stand? I would actually like you to pause the video really quick and leave your guess as to what you think it does damage wise. Do you think it does more than the Cerberus? Do you think it does more than the death machine? Or do you think it does less than all of them? And because like, why the hell would Treyarch make the new wonder weapon do less damage than the ray gun? I mean, that's that's weird, right? So leave your comments comments down below. I look forward to reading them and let's wrap this up. So the ray gun, how does it do compared to the rest of the weapons on this list? The ray gun fires about 14 shots per five seconds, which leads us to 168 shots per minute. It has a damage range of between 8,000 to 8,600 damage per round, plus splash damage of around 4,000 to 4,300 damage per round. So now we use the 8,000 damage per round figure plus the 4,000 splash damage per round, which equals about 12,000 in damage per round. And in my game, I also had a round hit at around, it's a lot of rounds, 8,611 damage with a splash damage of 4,320. So I think it can get a little higher than the range that I listed prior, but I'm not sure if that's consistent because I mostly saw numbers between 8,000 and 8,600. So what are the final numbers? I know that's what you care about. 12,000 damage per round multiplied by 14 rounds per five seconds gives us 168,000 damage per five seconds or 2,016,000 damage per minute. And this is on the low end. We can also get approximately 181,034 damage per five seconds or 2,172,408 damage per minute, which is just under the death machine, making it a very viable and close alternative if you don't want to use the score streak or can't afford one because of low salvage. So here is the final numbers list. Coming in at number one, the death machine with 2,376,000 damage 
damage per minute. The ray gun at number two with 2,172,408 damage per minute. And the Cerberus with half of that at 1,166,400 damage per minute. And I know this doesn't account for time with reloading, but the way we play the game, we're kind of just like shooting for five seconds, maybe 10 seconds at a time. And then we're kind of off of it. So I, I thought the five second number would be a little more appropriate. And then, cause we're always kind of constantly reloading in zombies. I didn't think it was fair to count reloading because we just, it, uh, zombies is so fast. This isn't like multiplayer where you would want to count that kind of stuff. The ray gun per five seconds does way more damage than the Cerberus and the death machine does slightly more damage than that. So either way you slice it, accounting for reloading time or not, you're still going to get higher numbers. And I honestly was not expecting the ray gun to be this viable of an option. And I think speedrunners should definitely try and get this from the box if they can, because it's just way more powerful than the Cerberus. I mean, the numbers, they don't lie unless I'm just completely stupid and did it all wrong. And you know, then you don't have to worry about the death machine either. You don't have to worry about getting salvage. Another interesting thing I noticed when I was playing using the ray gun, it just feels more overpowered. It feels so much more powerful to use. It was tearing through panzers and manglers. It, it feels OP. And when I would switch to the Cerberus, it literally felt like I was doing no damage to Valentina or anything around me. It just, it actually feels like the damage is cut in half. And now I know why. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed yourself and maybe consider subscribing if you're into COD Zombies content and uh, other gaming material. So have a good day, everybody. Peace.